breakfast. Oh yeah, whoa, look, they can never keep me down, I'm going, and if I ever fail to snow, I'll go again. I never quit, cause I know that every loss may lead to another win, I'm going up. I bet when I land, they gon' tell me it's luck again. See that I'm winning, it's harder to watch. I'm setting the stage, you should give me my prize. You ain't got a soul, you lacking the spirit. You talk out your neck, I'ma show you I'm with it. edition of uh, Crypto and Cars and uh, I wanted to make a quick little video um, today on tips for crypto newbies so if you're just trying to, to get into the space I have a few tips for you guys so the number one tip is don't jump into investing in just anything you know don't don't watch something on CNBC and they're talking about price increases or this or that and you run over to your local crypto exchange and you start you know buying you know XYZ that is stupid okay that's not what investing is about okay research that would be my first thing is research make sure that you research each pro project that you're interested in okay um, some tips for researching it find out what the company does find out what uh, real-world problem uh, this particular project is trying to solve sorry I think my music came on um, find out what, what's who's behind the project okay see who's backing the project see if there are any uh, uh, you know big players in the game uh, backing the particular project and there's a thing called a white paper if you haven't heard or, or know what a white paper is it's essentially uh, uh, a synopsis of what the, the company wants to accomplish okay and that's another thing Accomplishment. What have they accomplished to date? You know, obviously, if it's a new company, they probably probably haven't accomplished much. But um, if they've been around for a few years, two, three, four, five years, look at to see what they've accomplished so far. Because if they're just sitting idle and not really doing anything, maybe they're just sitting back and trying to collect money from uh, would-be investors. So always research the project. Okay, that's very important before you jump into it. The second thing that I would probably say uh, uh, before or when you start investing is um dollar cost average into something so once you decide that once you look at a project once you research a project and, and decide it's something that you want to invest in um dollar cost average in you know there's not a whole lot of people that have thousands of dollars even hundreds of dollars these days sitting on the sidelines just uh waiting for um waiting for it to be used so dollar cost average in so decide on an amount that you want to spend every month let's say let's say it's a hundred bucks okay one hundred dollars and spend that every month on a particular asset okay you can even uh, if you let's say if you want to invest in four different assets let's say Bitcoin ethereum XRP and Cardano um, put twenty five dollars in each each asset okay this is gonna help battle volatility all right over a period of time the prices of these assets especially in cryptocurrency because that's where we're at in the market right now in extreme volatility the prices are going to go up and down so by you putting in the same amount of money every month you're going to help to battle that volatility and your buying average is going to become better over time okay so everybody spends money the way they want to people go to Starbucks people you know spend money on their cars you know they do this and that I'm sure you can think of certain things that you can do without if you really choose to want to invest people can spend their money however they want you know I don't care I'm just saying that if you're thinking about investing and you're thinking well you know what I don't really have the money to do it 
Think about how much money you waste on a monthly basis or a weekly basis. You know, that $5 a day in Starbucks could uh, start to add up. Okay, so that's the second thing. The third and final thing, and probably the most important thing, at least to myself when I was getting started, is not to listen, well, it's not to not listen to your family and friends, but a lot of times where you expect them to support you in certain endeavors, they're not gonna support you. And I'm not saying all family and friends are like that. What I'm saying is, don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to people who you think you should be listening to. And maybe they're saying, oh, you're investing in that crypto stuff. You're investing in that real estate stuff. You're investing in this and that. If I sat around and and uh, listened to, to people who were like that in my life, I'd, I'd be nowhere right now. Okay? So that's how, uh, that, that's always going to be a, a thing. People are going to come along and they're going to hear what you're doing. And they're going to try to chop you down because they're just maybe miserable or, or just they don't want to see anybody come up they don't want to see anybody do better especially when it comes to doing better um, financially they want to drag everybody down they want to criticize and they don't want to improve themselves so so that's the third thing don't listen to anybody else do your thing set your goals and hit those goals every week hit those goals every month okay so three things research number two dollar cost average in and number three, don't listen to negativity. Just do your thing. All right. That sums it up for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. And uh, let me go ahead and make a little right turn right here and do a little pull real quick. Safety first, guys. Safety pull. Okay. Ready? Let's go.